Now to the Middle East, where Israeli leaders are weighing how to respond to Iran's drone attacks over the weekend. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke with President Biden, who made it clear that while the U.S. continues to back Israel, it will not support a counterattack on Iran. The Iranian military launched more than 300 drones and missiles at Israel in retaliation on a strike in an embassy in Syria. 99% of the Iranian missiles were shot down. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger in Tel Aviv with the very latest. Good afternoon from Tel Aviv, where the Israeli War Cabinet has now wrapped up its second meeting in as many days as it tries to figure out a response to Iran's unprecedented attack over the weekend. Israeli government planners trying to thread the needle here, come up with what they describe as a painful retaliatory attack without creating a wider war. Barely a day and a half after Iran fired more than 300 missiles and attack drones toward Jerusalem, some even streaking right over the sacred Muslim site, the Dome of the Rock. The Israeli War Cabinet is trying to figure out what to do in response. A combined international effort planned over the past few years helped protect Israel, intercepting 99% of the projectiles in flight, which included more than 100 ballistic missiles. The president in his conversation with Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, did reiterate that it was a tremendous success for Israel Saturday night. Not just the military superiority that they showed, but they showed they're not alone. U.S. forces alone took out nearly 90 of the drones and missiles long before they reached Israeli airspace. President Biden praised the airmen involved on the phone yesterday. It made an enormous difference, potentially saving a lot of lives. The key to Israel's success was its multi-layered aerial defense system, which includes the well-known Iron Dome, which specializes in short-range rockets, but also David's sling for medium-range projectiles and the Arrow, which is designed for long-range missiles. I think it did show, it did demonstrate uh, that Iran uh, is not uh, the power that it uh, purports to be, that it doesn't have that same military superiority. In the meantime, Cardinal Timothy Dolan is in the region on a mission for peace, but found himself hustling for shelter when the missiles approached Jerusalem. Today, he met with Israeli President Isaac Herzog as the war cabinet deliberates for a second day on how to respond to this weekend's onslaught. The government puts a lot of thought, a lot of consultation, a lot of strategy into this, all right? And that's a good thing that we try not to act on raw emotion all the time, but that we're thoughtful. I get that impression. We didn't talk too much mm -hmm. about the about the military part of it, but uh, knowing him and knowing that he's having a hand in this, I'm saying, hey, this is good news. The U.S. has already told Netanyahu it will not take part in any planning or execution of an offensive attack against Iran. The Biden White House actively pressuring Netanyahu to use restraint at a very tenuous time. In Tel Aviv, Josh Einiger, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. And stay with Eyewitness News for the latest on the tensions in the Middle East. Josh will be back with us on Eyewitness News at 4 and throughout the day.